Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Burkholtz here from our home in Murfreesboro. Um, today we're going to continue on with our summer activity theme with a underwater swimmer who is snorkeling. Um, this first video we are just going to draw our snorkeler and then a little fish and then color it in. And then the next video, carrying on with this one, uh, we're going to do some bubble painting. We're actually doing bubbles, food coloring, and a little bit of water to make her look like she's actually swimming in the water. So um, for this section of the video, you're just going to need a Sharpie and some crayons or colored pencils. Do not use markers for this because it will smudge everywhere when we add our bubble printing. While you're doing that, I'm going to show you your um, picture for the day instead of our Bob Ross. Uh, this is The Starry Night, one of the most famous paintings in the world. It was painted in 1889 by Vincent van Gogh. You can find it in New York. And the quote of the day says, For my part, I know nothing with any certainty, but the sight of stars makes me dream. Oh, I love it. And does that quote make you dream or wonder anything? Does the picture make you wonder or feel anything? Take a minute and think about it because looking at good art should give you some kind of feeling or thought. Well, while you're thinking about that, hopefully you can even pause the video and talk with your mom or dad or whoever's around you about what art might make you think or wonder or feel. And whenever you're ready, let's come on back and get to drawing together. All right, I'm gonna start out with a Sharpie. If you don't feel comfortable, use a pencil. Put your finger in the middle of your paper and then slide over just a little bit. And we're gonna draw a circle. That's gonna be the middle of our eye. Lovely. And then you wanna go about three fingers lengths to the uh, just beyond and do another circle. This is our other eye. Try to make it about the same size. Whoa, oh, mine's a little wonky. That's okay. Nothing is perfect. Definitely not people. And then from there, I'm going to draw two little curves, burp, burp, two little curves burp, burp, to make it the center of my eye. This is called the pupil. Make this one a little bit bigger to even them out. All right, next I'm going to draw a curve across both of them. About the same, lovely. Bring the curve on down. And I'm gonna do a little curve around. This is the iris. This is the colored part of our eye. My eyes are blue, so I know I'm gonna color that part blue if I'm gonna draw myself. But lots of you have brown eyes or green eyes or lots of different kinds of eyes in between. If you're a girl or you just want to, Go ahead and flick on these lovely little eyelashes. And we're just gonna draw a little curve right underneath to show that our eye ends right there. There we go. Good. Now we're gonna draw our goggles. Are you ready? Uh, we're gonna start with the line going above our two eyes. It's a slight curve. There we go. And I'm gonna go out and down. Out and down. Lovely. And then I'm going to go down and curve in a little bit. Down and curve in. Try to be symmetrical. That's always a little bit tough when you're going. And to help me be symmetrical, I'm going to put a little dot right in between my two eyes. That's going to help me know when to go over and up. Because we're going to have a little U, upside down U shape right here. I'm going to go over, 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 till lining up with the middle of the eye, or the inner part of the eye. Over, 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 and then up, upside down you, and back down. Lovely. Uh, we're going to do a twin line that goes around the outside to show that plastic or rubbery part. If yours is really close to your eyes, like mine's pretty close to my eyes, so I'm going to draw mine on the outside. If yours is not, um, you can maybe draw your twin drawing part on the inside. It's up to you. It's your picture. 
So you'll notice I turn my paper to make it easier to follow my line. Going really slow, a little bit at a time. I'm using this other hand to hold my paper nice and steady. There we go. Lovely. Um, now we're going to do a nose. I don't really have a lot of space up here for a nose, so I'm just going to do, whoop, there's my nose. Little teeny tiny nosy nose. <laughs> so fun. All right, are you ready for your snorkel? Now, um, <laughs> I'm going to have my snorkel going like this. It's going to be like a giant J. Right down here, I'm going to do what looks like a frowny face for a second. And then we're going to curve down and up. Okay, it's going to be a total vertical right here. So I'm going down, over, 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 and then back up. Uh-oh, I hit my goggles. That's okay, I'm going to skip that spot. Keep going up, 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 and stop. I'm going to do the same thing again. Do another twin line or a parallel line. Again, this is not my design per se. A lot of our teachers do this project. But I saw a Cassie Stevens video and just thought it was too cool not to do with you. All right, right at the tippy top here, we're going to draw a little curve. Curve up, curve up, and then another little curve going down. Curve up, curve up, and a little one. And that is the end of our snorkel. Around the outside here, we're going to draw a teeny tiny square that is slightly overlapped by this mouthpiece. Okay, that's the part that covers your mouth and it helps your teeth kind of grip onto it. Uh, now, if you're swimming underwater in the middle of the summer, you're probably in a good mood. You can go ahead and make a little happy face. A little happy, because I would be happy doing this. And a little chin, okay? The chin is just a gentle curve, skip this part, and then back up, okay? So, gentle curve, skip, gentle curve, back up. Awesome sauce. Lovely. Now let's do a little forehead. Um, since I didn't leave a ton of space, I'm going to do a very, very, very small forehead. So I have plenty of space for my hair. So I'm going to curve up, over, 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 and down. Told you it was a little forehead. <laughs> Maybe some eyebrows, just for fun. And what am I forgetting about my face? Did you say ears? Good job. I'm going to do a little ear over here, and here you wouldn't see the ear too much because it's overlapped by the little scuba equipment. Not scuba, sorry. Snorkeling equipment. Uh, so I just did a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. All right, I'm going to save my hair till the end because that's one of my favorite parts. We're going to draw a neck, and your neck is actually about as wide as your mouth. Um, so here we go. Whoop. Meow. Here we go. Again, overlap. And your shoulders are pretty wide. They're always wider than what you think they would be. Curving out and going down, out and down. And that is the basic part of our person. Now, if you're a boy, you don't have to draw a shirt on your person. But if you're a girl or drawing a girl, you need to draw a shirt. So I'm going to do this little curve for a swimming suit. Curve down. Curve down, and you could do like a pattern on it, like, uh, I don't know, polka dots or hearts or zigzags, anything you want. It is your scuba person, not mine. All right, now for my favorite part, the hair. <laughs> the hair is going to be like a wobbly spikes. Okay, so curve, 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 point, curve on down. Curve, 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 point, curve on down. Curve point, curve on down. You can kind of play with thick, thin, long, and short as long as it looks like it's floating. It kind of looks like fire, honestly, the way I'm doing it. And you probably want to put it behind the scuba equipment because that doesn't make sense for it to be in front. Unless your just hair is going crazy. There we go. Um, oh yeah, fish, fishy fish. I'm going to draw just one fish that's pretty big here, maybe a little baby one right in here to see if I can fit it. I'm going to draw a circle, and then a bigger circle around that circle. Whoa. A curve. Boop. 
color this part in. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Big curve across here. Sideways V. Curve around the bottom. Up and make a meet. Oh, he looks nervous. Probably because he's got someone swimming right next to him and he's used to swimming by himself. Do a little bubble for the um, finny fin. And then, boop, little point for the dorsal fin, the top fin right there. Notice I add a little bit of texture, just implied texture, not real texture. Over here, I'm going to draw a smaller circle. See if I can fit him in. Oh, circle around the circle. This one, I'm going to make it a little goofier. So I'm going to draw a line here. Pop it out. Here we go. He just barely fits in there. Maybe make this one stick out a little bit. There we go. This guy's a little bit more cheery than the other one. There we go. Awesome. Love it. All right. Um, that is it for the drawing portion. I'm going to start coloring with you guys. And then I am going to pause get my bubble stuff and show you how to do this. So when you're coloring, it needs to be, repeat after me, it needs to be crayon or color pencil if you want to do the bubbles, okay? No bubbles if you are not using crayon or colored pencil. All right, now to make my snorkel look 3D, I'm pressing down really, really hard around the outside of my snorkel. This is value. Y'all remember learning about value, hopefully. That's the shadowy part. And then I'm gonna ease up, get a little lighter, little lighter, get more towards the middle. This is gonna make it look three-dimensional. You can do that with all the different parts of the snorkel, of right underneath the chin, make it a little darker. So just another way to make your art look more realistic, you're deciding when and where to press down and when and where to ease off. All right, guys, I'm going to pause right there, and I will see you again in a few minutes after we've both done coloring. For the next video, you are going to need um, some dish soap, some water, food coloring, or paint if you have paint. And probably blue if you want your water to be blue, but if you want a different color, psh, that's all good. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes, guys.